fantastic people of the internet. Uh, whether you're on YouTube or looking at this video somewhere else, um, thank you for checking it out. I'm John Wright at Infinity Composition and uh, I write lots of music, which is a lot of fun. And I thought it would be cool perhaps to start a new series breaking down some of the sort of process behind how I write and record and compose music for, for different projects. Um, and uh, let's have some fun along the way, hopefully. Um, so today, uh, in this first video, I'm going to um, play you a new track, uh, which is quite an orchestral track, uh, kind of got a bit of a Hans Zimmer vibe going on to it, um, which is going to be used in uh, a new Minecraft uh, project, um, which is being created. Uh, yeah, it's kind of the follow-up to a game we had out last summer called Piano Lands, which was a fantastic uh, grand piano built in Minecraft. Um, and then in the lid of the piano, there was a, a wonderful Minecraft world which you could explore and find several pieces of music in different genres. So it was a lot of fun. Uh, I say I create, I didn't create any of the Minecraft bit. That is the wonderful um, Adam Clark. Um, and if you want to check out his stuff, uh, see the link below. Uh, he's doing a whole series at the moment called Minecraft Masterclass. Um, so if you're interested in anything to do with Minecraft, uh, check out his videos. They're fantastic and the work he does in Minecraft is amazing. Uh, but anyway, this new piece is going to be on Drumlands, which is kind of a follow-up to Piano Lands. Um, similar idea, but we're going to have a giant drum kit with lots of music. So this is kind of the soundtrack uh, drum piece. Um, so it kind of highlights some orchestral drums and what we're going to do, I'm just going to play you the, the song or the, the piece of music to start with. Um, we'll have a listen to it. Um, and then I'm going to sort of break down the instruments and how I went about putting it together. So here we go. Uh, without further ado, let's have a listen uh, to the track. Okay, here we go. This is what it sounds like. Nice start with the uh, what? Yeah, big brass. Got to do that for Zimmer and uh, some nice sort of bassy strings going on. Some ostinato drums just building in the background. Just a little bit of gentle piano. And it starts to build now. Here we go. Let's go. There goes those drums. the track hope you enjoyed that it, uh, it was a lot of fun it's a lot of fun to write this one um, and so I'm gonna take you through the instruments now most of the instruments that I that I have here are um, in fact all of them I think except the piano is uh, from Project Sam's orchestral essentials library uh, which if you've not heard of Project Sam uh, check them out they're amazing um, and I only have a, a couple of their libraries sad face uh, wouldn't it be nice to have all of them all the libraries in the world that'd be great uh, but we've got uh, orchestral essentials one and two and uh, they're a lot of fun and they, they give you pretty much everything that uh, you might need to make a orchestral sounding soundtrack so i use them quite a lot um so we've got this uh sort of strings ostinato bit going first uh, it's in d minor to start with we've got this going on which is quite nice isn't it getting really nice Ooh nice cool 
uh, really nice sound. And we've got this sort of octaver uh, enabled there, so it just plays the octave up. So that's it, kind of without. Nice, ooh, menacing. But if you put the octaver on it, it's quite cool. Yeah. It's quite nice. Uh, so that's cool. So we have that going on. And then um, s uh, the next track is the same. It's just I doubled up. Uh, so I copied and pasted here just to give those strings a bit of more punch. Um, and again, same, I think it's the same. Yeah, same same sound selected, sort of staccato strings, but this is for sort of the octave higher. We were just adding another layer of strings on top here. Uh, and then this one is uh, like a... So we're using the mod wheel on my keyboard here. To get some nice sort of uh, dynamics going on. Cool, and that's what we, we sort of, if I solo that, you'll be able to hear the sort of stringy melody, which is somewhere here, it's quite cool. There it is. Just laid that on top, which was nice. Uh, Sus Orchestra. Now, one of the things I really love in Project Sam are these kind of patches which um, give you a full orchestra. They've kind of sampled a full orchestra and then, yeah, the best way is to show you. So well, here we go, have a listen to this. So on its own, so you get this full sort of sound, beautiful. And then if you use the mod wheel, sort of tremolos the strings up a little bit. Great, isn't it? <laughs> Love it. Oh, yeah, some lovely reverb in there. Anyway, uh, so yeah, when we had this uh, sort of section where it chilled out later on, that's what I was... <laughs> we're sort of using that to build beautiful uh, D minor to G transition, which worked really well. Lovely, I'm just kind of building up, going up the octaves with this sort of D minor to G progression. And then built in that lower D, gave me the sort of timpani brass at the bottom. Really nice. And then one final one at the top, here we go. And swell at the end. Lovely. And yeah, just great. And here's another one of those patches. This is sort of a, the action orchestra. So if you have a look at this, it's the same same thing, but you kind of get, oh, really sort of staccato-y uh, stabs. It's really great. Okay. Really great. And there's this enhance, which I had on. If you have it off, takes the takes the timpanis and the pianos out. So you can do more ostinato -y things if you wanted to. It's quite great. Lovely, but I, I love it with the piano in. Really great. <laughs> uh, yeah. I could do an example of, of a certain piece of music, but I don't want the copyright strike. So, <laughs> but it's... A that might give some of you a clue. Anyway, the brass, uh, yeah, really nice brass patch, this. So again, using the mod wheel to give the dynamics. It's great. And then we sort of modulated up um, to E flat minor. Great stuff. And then to the highlight of this particular piece of music, I guess, is the big drums. There's lots of, it's, where is it? There it is. Nice. It's really great. Oh, bit of, <laughs> bit of symbol if you go too high on the keyboard. So to start with, if I solo that, we, we kind of, I just built this running underneath the ostinatos, really. So I recorded it in and then just went back into it and, and sort of put a little bit of quantizing uh, into it just to sharpen it up but not too much. So uh, if you press.
press E, you'll get the uh, piano roll up and uh, and then just highlighted all of them and did some quantizing on 16th notes. Um, just to get that tight and, and yeah, just built that up really. Uh, as you say, I didn't do a copy paste on this. I wanted to keep that kind of feel that it's not repeating the same phrase all the time and, and just, yeah, gave it a little bit of a human touch, I guess. And then we go into this sort of middle section. So I had two lots of the same patch going here. So if I solo both of those, you had the first kind of patch doing the ba-ba-ba-ba-ba bit like this. And then the second uh, second track going nuts like this. was a lot of fun uh but it took a, took a, a few takes uh, of me just improvising really i kind of could feel in, in in my head what i wanted to do um and so it was just finding the right <laughs> like, oh, sorry sorry symbols <laughs> symbols coming back to play me but yeah the sort of higher tom sounds and then the sort of going down lower it's lots of fun and just trying to find a nice patterns and yeah that was fun to do uh yeah so a few takes and then again a little bit of quantizing and finding a few drums here and there which i wasn't keen on and just deleting them uh and it just and then finding the sweet spot that i liked and yeah that was that really uh so that was fun and that obviously continues on there and then just added a few symbols in uh again just these little i love these sort of oh i'm in the wrong section there we go they're nice little roll symbols that are nice really cool uh yes yeah, so you get the idea on those and yeah one of my favorite sounds in this uh library is this great with the mod wheel again doing dynamics lovely sound awesome and then just the icing on the cake i guess was a bit of piano uh so there wasn't much going on in the first bit i then just gently mixed it in at, at the back uh in the second half i should say uh, a bit of this was going on so quite simple really so i did that for a while and then when we were getting near the end we just sort of built that rhythm up to get down the octave Again, played it in free, a little bit of quantizing just to make sure it was all uh, matching up nicely. Nice. Now there is some, obviously, we've got some effects. I've just done silver verb. Silver verb, great thing. Just a little bit of, uh, of reverb on, on that, which is quite nice. Um, Yes, so this is the only patch, which actually this is the only this is the only sort of sample that is not Project Sam. This, uh, well, I suppose we have to <laughs> give a big thanks for Focusrite. <laughs> it was Focusrite give you a free instrument when you buy one of their uh, one of their devices. So I've got a four i four um, Scarlet four i four, and it came with a bunch of software. And this was one of them. And it's a great piano. It's really nice. Gorgeous, isn't it? sort of chord progressions. Nice. Mm -mm. So yeah, I did play a bit with the settings, not too much in that. That's one of my uh, sounds that I like using. It's a little bit softer than the um, than the original preset. And that was it really. Um, a little bit of mixing um, in there. Uh, but the great thing about Project Sam is that it all just kind of works. It all just kind of fits together nicely. And then I, once I was happy with the general sound, um, sort of brought the, uh, you know, brought the master level down a little bit. So there's some headroom, 
bounced it out, mastered it a little bit, and uh, and that was it. So there we go. That's my track. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed a little bit of an insight into how my brain works, um, and hopefully you found it helpful. If you've got any questions about anything that I've done or covered, or if you want me to go into any more depth into any of uh, anything that I've spoken about today, then, then do put a comment below. I'd really appreciate it if you give me a like and a subscribe. That'd be awesome. I'm going to be doing more of these types of videos over the next few weeks and months. Um, so yeah, I'll join you on the next one and uh, see you soon. Thanks a lot.